Coming to you from Madrid under quarantine, welcome to the Philip Stark Show. In this episode, we, as in me, are launching a new segment called High Five with Philip Stark. In High Five, I ask five questions to interviewees of my choosing. On today's segment, we're interviewing Kurt Baker. Kurt Baker is an American musician based in Madrid, Spain. He's known for his contributions to the musical genre known as power pop, playing in bands such as The Leftovers, The Kurt Baker Band, and The Kurt Baker Combo. Let's talk to Kurt. Hi. Hi. Bill. I'm right here, Kurt. You there? I'm right here, Kurt. Hi, dude. Hi. So here we are. Quarantine. What day is it? I don't even remember. I have no freaking idea what day it is. It's tough. It's it's different. And it's definitely difficult living in the city where people have, you know, small flats to get it's it's impossible to, to go on walks. I mean Kurt, you can't go on walks. We can't go on walks here. No walks. I see people back at home in the States that uh, they can go in their backyard. Hey Kurt, did you know that a lot of people say that the national sport in Spain is envy? If you've got a patio or a terrace. Terraces are nice. You got that, you're lucky to get some air. Oh, I like air. It just amazingly, I was able to, to discover just two days ago that I could go up on to my roof. Roof, huh? Yeah, I don't have access to my roof, so there's that. That was a blessing in disguise because I was feeling really trapped in my small little place here. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like the walls are just closing in on me. That or it could be because I keep filling the room with a lot more instruments. As a musician right now, it's really difficult, too, because we've everyone's got, you know, canceled gigs, and uh, so the income's not coming in. Actually, I never had any canceled gigs myself because I never had any gigs to begin with. Uh, and we have to look for different alternatives. Alternatives, huh? Have you thought about teaching English or maybe working in pornography? I tried a stage it show last week, and it went really well, so I'm going to probably do a few more of those. We are living in the... Uh, communication age. Are we still in that age? I don't know. But it's good to be able to be in contact with folks. And I think the most important thing is staying positive. Yeah, totally. Staying positive is super essential. Uh, not positive for the coronavirus. Okay, let's get into the official questions because this is High Five with Philip Starr. You ready for the High Five? All right, give it to me. Ow! So Kurt, you play what's called power pop music. What the hell is power pop? Power pop. Yeah, what a name. It's uh, it's a genre. I do love power pop. I've always been a fan of it. But basically what I try to say to people when they ask me about what power pop is, it's, it's basically rock and roll music, but with great melody and, and hooks. Usually the songs aren't too long. You know, they get stuck in your head. It's, just, it's pop music. It's rock and roll music. It's really heavily influenced by some of my favorite classic bands from the 60s. Um, the Beatles, the Beach Boys, and you've got many, many groups that come after that. To get categorized as, as one group, a lot of people love to label things, and I've tried with other projects to kind of branch out from that sound, but, you know, at the end of the day, if people want to call it power pop, it's power pop, or rock and roll, or whatever, as long as people are listening. Yeah, it's power pop. And I would totally drink a power pop energy drink. Dude, a power pop energy drink sounds awesome. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. I'd try it. Let's move on to question number two. How did you end up living in Madrid? Okay, so my first time in Madrid was in 2007. I was on tour with my old band, The Leftovers, and we played the World Sur Ballroom. We were on a tour of Europe, and it was quite a surprise. Madrid, I wasn't expecting Madrid to be as cool as it was. I had I had no idea what to expect, really. And uh, man, it was it was amazing. We had a great show um, at the Whirly, one of many. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time at the World's or Ballroom. We know, Kurt. We know. Madrid, the city itself, had just a huge impact on me. And after 2007, I, I returned to Madrid. I returned to Spain to, to tour almost every year, actually. So it was like 2008, 2009, blah, 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 all the way to 2013, which is when I officially kind of moved here. So I've been here for about six years, and I love it. What's not to love? And that brings us to question number three. What do you like about Madrid? What I like about living in Madrid, it's one of those places where, you know, the life is is out on the street. You run into friends. It's a big city, but it also feels kind of like a small town. There's 
a lot going on, a lot of music, a lot of wonderful people. You're never bored. And it's it's got a good rhythm of, I know everybody on my street and I, and I love that kind of sense of community. One of the things I love doing is just walking down my street and, and waving to all the people, all the shop owners that I know. Uh, my buddy Abdul downstairs, he's, he's a great guy and he's always got very cold beer. I do miss the ocean a little bit. I'm from Portland, Maine, which is right next to the ocean. Uh, but there are enough distractions here and I am lucky enough to, to go on tour uh, to coastal towns in Spain so I could take a dip in the Mediterranean or whatever sea they've got around. You're correct, Kurt. That is the Mediterranean. And there's also another small body of water called the Atlantic Ocean. And now it's time for question number four. What does the future hold for Kurt Baker? Okay, so I got a new album. You shouldn't be touching your face. I shouldn't be touching my face, no. Nah. No face touching, dude. I got a new album coming out, and that's gonna be, that's due out in October. We we're actually filming, um, or taking some photos for the front cover on my roof because we can't go out in the street. Ah, uh, there's that roof again. Sounds fantastic. Did I mention that I do not have access to my roof? The album's called Still Doing It. I recorded it back in Maine. Uh, recorded with my old band, the Kurt Baker Band, which is the band I had before I moved to Spain. And then when I was in Spain, now I've got a band called the Kurt Baker Combo. It's a little confusing, but it's basically the Spanish band. The U.S. band was was kind of put on hold. But now with the new record, we went back, we got the band back together and recorded a new album. I'm excited for people to, to hear it. I hope they enjoy it. That is going to be out on Wicked Cool Records in the fall. And hopefully by then we'll be, be, we'll be able to go back on tour and play around and play the new songs live for an audience uh, that are actually in the club. Good luck. So let's get to the last question. Question number five. What's your favorite movie and why? So my favorite movie of all time is Captain Ron, and it's with Martin Short and Kurt Russell, and it's uh, the best movie ever made. Just wait a second. I love Kurt Russell, but his best movie has got to be Big Trouble in Little China, and Martin Short, no doubt, it's Three Amigos. And I've actually been watching many different versions of it uh, while locked in my house. It's about a captain named Ron and a family from Chicago that discovered that they've inherited a, a really cool boat. Honestly, I'll watch anything with a boat. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil the, uh, the ending thing, so I'll let you go find it and watch it. But yeah, I've been watching it in different um, languages, Spanish, French, Arabic. What about Klingon? It's interesting, once you know a movie so well, to be someone like Captain Ron, honestly, because he's just so cool. Well, he's got his flaws, but it, don't we all? The way you're describing him, it sounds to me like Captain Ron is a bit of a, well, as they would say in Klingon, a bit of a petach. Okay. Phil, thank you so much, man. When this uh, when this all blows over, we gotta hang out. All right, dude. Take care. All right, everybody. That was High Five with Philip Stark, the series in which I ask people five questions. Simple, easy. And now to take us out, let's hear a song from Kurt Baker. All right, here's uh, the latest single from the Kurt Baker combo on Wicked Cool Records. It's called Can't Go Back. <laughs> Don't act so surprised I've got two minutes to fall 